To add the Constant Z machining, I'll right-click on the Operations header in the Solid Cam Manager and select Add Operation 3D Milling. In the 3D Milling Operation box, I'll choose the coordinate system from the list. In the Geometry field, I'll choose the target geometry from the list and click Show in order to switch the model to the proper configuration. Then close the Show Geometry box with the red X button. Now I'll choose the End Mill tool with a diameter of 6 mm for this operation and click on the Select button in the tool area to display the part tool table. Switch to the Edit page and add a new tool. I'll set the value of 6 mm for the diameter and 0 for the corner radius and confirm with the Select button. I'll click OK once more to confirm in the Tool dialog box. With the 3D milling operation displayed again, I can click on the upper level button and define by clicking on the bottom of the model pocket. I'll confirm the picked value of negative 2.6 millimeters with the green check. In this dialog box, I'll change the value of the upper level to negative 2.5 millimeters and set the lower level to negative 3 millimeters in order to machine the only open pocket area and move on to define the safety distance. The safety distance is the distance to the upper level at which the tool will start moving at the Z-feed rate you have entered for the tool. Movements from the clearance level to this height are performed in rapid move. I'll set the safety distance value to 3 mm to prevent approaching the material with rapid feed. In the finish area, I'll choose the constant Z strategy from the list and click on the data button to define its parameters. And this is the constant Z finish dialog box. Here, I'll select the Constant Z Flat Floor Machining checkbox to mill the bottom surface of the open pocket. I'll control the step over of the tool with the scallop value of 0.5 mm and set the maximum step over value to 3 mm. To confirm the data, I'll use the OK button. I can now click on the Save and Calculate button in order to save the operation information and calculate the tool path. After the calculation, I can close the 3D Milling Operation dialog box with the exit button.